on mine, right? So you're okay with this nude? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a nude set, and then we're gonna put rose gold glitter on top. Uh, deep French. Go ahead and hit that share button. It's been a while since I've been live. You guys know I've been doing a lot of TikTok and stuff like that, and reaction videos. I've been really enjoying that. Especially the Russian manicures. Oof. What's the Russian manicure? Oh, they go and they really cut the appendicium of the na nails. Mm -hmm. It's gnarly. It's, like, it's satisfying. It's like a like a pimple popping video. You like watching those? Come on. <laughs> Sometimes it's like a, a weird thing where you, you can't you cannot not watch it. I don't like watching it. I'm just but my mom loves it. And yeah. she's always whenever she sees a pimple on me, she's always like, let me go back. Brush has a lot of a lot of control guys. For a lot of you guys are working with small nail beds or shorter nails. My 10 brush crimped. It'll get you there. Should push the cuticles. Get that structure in. Generally it should be what it looks like right there. For a lot of you guys. It's just gets enough. We don't need that big of an apex since her nails are about medium, medium long. Shaping is the issue. Make sure to get that shape in nice and shaped. Let's see a little bit. Thank you. Yeah, I usually get like medium nudes, light nudes, and some pinks, and I'll just make my own little nude. Hello, just showing long time we'll see. I'm glad you're off to watch this. Yeah. Be a quick set. This set will probably take me about maybe 35 minutes, 40 minutes max. Be in and out. Just a deep French with gel polish later. I mean, I'm using an art gel later. You can see you don't really need a big brush to do longer nails. You just gotta have enough control and be able to pick up a big enough bead. I think a 10 brush sometimes with the smaller nail beds and the shorter nails a little bit, a little easier to control the ratio compared to if you have a big brush. So if I had my 16, I'll probably bring a lot more powder up and then distribution and stuff like that. But here, I'm just bring just enough what I need as I go. Ideally, a fan favorite is the size 10 here. And especially when it's crimped, you get that nice edge to be able to clean out the corners and stuff like that. People will love that. I still have yet to do the video for you guys for the crimp, non crimp video. But generally, if I do my two bead process the same way, I'd probably get the same structure in every nail. Um, that's why you can be able to move pretty fast and you can do a one bead too if you want to. But I like doing two beads it makes me be able to control the structure a little bit better. This is generally what the Salon Ready course is about: teaching the control of the powder, how to apply, um, and you know, understanding the powder. People have been asking me for it, so I just announced my next two courses. It's going to be um, Seattle. And then one's gonna be in Orlando, local to me. And for those that don't know what it is about, you can also always go through my Instagram in the pin link and you can check my previous Salon Ready courses and you'll see what we go through during the class. It's pretty much structured to focus around dip. Uh, I won't dip a little bit, I show dip, but focus on application, understand the product and you know, structure and a little bit of designs too. Very well structured class, two days in person. It's a smaller class as a private class. It's just me, private, um, not with Vino or Tino. So I'd be able to get spend more time with the student, one on one wise. I actually have a lot of advanced people take my class too because they want to work on their structure. I mean, you'd be surprised what you can go through with learning some new techniques and being able to be in person with me for two days, two long days. So as a beginner in advance and for all the beginners taking the class to get to learn the technique early so they don't really have any issues with you know trying to no i'm not using chisel this is a local brand um okay i'm gonna be honest with you guys i am working my own powder right now this is the powder i'm actually mixing myself and i'm you know getting samples from the distributors and stuff like that 
So I'm mixing myself and kind of just testing out the powder. This is, um, I'm definitely gonna come up with a new collection first. Um, new powders, ombres, and stuff like that, because I love ombre. This is, this is part of the powders that I'm, I'm, I'm testing out right now. Um, so far, I really like it, consistency-wise. Um, once my monomer's restocked, I'll be able to test it with my monomer, and we're gonna go from there. I told you guys that I'll, I'll work my powder eventually, at some point. I'm just slowly doing it. I don't have to, I'm not gonna rush, you know? This, this makes no sense. It's not like, <laughs> there's not other powder companies out there already. I'm, I'm behind, but I just wanna make my powder at least unique or different, or at least the way I want it. But I'll be using it too, let alone the, uh, I want something buttery, I want something that works well with EMA monomer. It doesn't have to be capped. That's my goal. Yeah, I can't wait. I know a lot of guys have been really hounding me for my own powder, but like I said, it's not something I'm, you know, in a hurry to do. It's not like it's a race to see who gets first acquired powder. It's already been done and people already do it, so. I'm just here trying to make my unique and good quality is it. So my new collection, I probably have a few different type of nudes. I like flesh nudes, to be honest with you. I got a cover powder. I like, I think I, I'm, I'm, my main focus is going to be cover powder first. Just because I think cover powder is the most, you know, people use that the most um, out of everything. Because to put designs, you know, just to get the nail base and stuff like that. I think cover powder over color powder. Because I feel like nowadays it's the trend is going towards more of cover powders and then, you know, doing art and designs and stuff like that compared to doing color acrylic and then like having to drill it off and stuff like that. So the trend's kind of changing. So I'm gonna focus on cover powder, make sure I get a really good cover powder, um, good quality and such. You know, a nice white, milky white also, a nice clear. And uh, we're done with one hand. Hey, which brand do you use that doesn't have to be capped? Um, chisel, not polished, a wave gel, um, are a few brands that don't need to be capped. Um, you can tell when the uh, product needs to be capped or not easily just by, um, you know, looking at it, uh, if the powder is very pigmented, that means as a pigment-based polish, it's probably gonna need to be capped compared to something that's not pigmented, that, that's gonna be mixed with enough acrylic that will be able to set it. Most pigmentation, you'll, you can tell already, it's very vibrant, and when you pick it up, it's kind of fluffy. Um, that's a high, highly pigmented, which is great. You know, you can do a nice thin coat and then cap with clear. Um, if that was, is that, that's how you like to do it. But for me, I just want to be able to go through my application process once. I don't want to go back through with clear. I hate working with clear. Um, I don't know why anybody would want to work with clear. It's the most runny. Um, it can always always bubble. It's always just contaminated easily. There's, there's a few things I don't like about clear. So I try to stay away from it as much as possible unless I'm trying to do you know, cap my ombre or encapsulate or something like that. You know? This application process should take about 10, 15, 15, 15 minutes for this set probably. I'm probably sitting at 10 minutes right now. Do you ever do deep French acrylic instead of painting it? Uh, you can. The problem is when you do deep French with acrylic, um, your client is stuck with that. You know, it's really hard to cover it up. So I'd rather paint it because the client, I always ask the client, are you going to be wearing these? Are you going to get a fill? And they're like, oh no, we're not gonna get a fill or something like that. Then yeah, you can you can go ahead and ooh, got a little bit of something in here in the powder. What is that? Oh, it's a piece of nail. So if 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 you're, you gotta you gotta really question the client. If the client's gonna get it soaked off, then yeah, go ahead and do it with acrylic, you know. But if the client is gonna be wearing it and getting a fill, most likely they're gonna they're gonna be changing design. It's easier for you to do a gel polish than you can always drill it off. Compared to if you did it with a, acrylic, it's, it's stuck there. Especially if it's like a vibrant color, if you're doing like a black French or something like that, it's gonna be hard to cover that up, you know? So anytime I see like something like this, I always stick, I always go with the, the ability to do gel polish, which will look just as good too, as long as you know how to do it. You don't have to really do it with a kit. I know the acrylic may look crisp and everything like that, but you know how to use a liner brush and you know, you got the right polish. You, generally, you won't be using like a regular gel polish that's like really runny. You want something more medium consistency, a pigmented so that you do a thin coat so you don't lose your shape. I know a lot of you guys don't want to polish because polishing loses your shape and you know it looks bulky. But if you have the right product, you have the right technique, you actually can replicate the same thing you can do with a powder with gel polish, more or less. The difference will be not nominal. You won't really notice at all. I 
lot of stuff is going to be in stock. These tips will be back in stock soon, um, as soon as they come in. Um, drill bits, drill bit kits are going to be coming back, back in stock. I know you guys been patient, but a lot of stuff. Monomer will be back in stock this week. I can't wait because I cannot stand using this salon's monitor right now. This is your arm okay? Yeah. You can see the bubble a little bit. There you go. Oh, yeah. I had to buy a monomer from the local nail supply store because I'm completely out of monomer myself at the salon too. Oh, now that monomer is gone. But um, I will be announcing the 32 ounce end of this week. For a lot of you guys who want the bigger size. Well, I guess I've tried, and you guys love this. You want to buy a bigger size? Okay. We'll do 32. And remember, this is a 10 brush, guys. The smallest brush in my arsenal, in my collection. But you can see it can work flawlessly, like how a big brush would. Um, it is crimped, so it is a little bit larger than what you use see a, a, a 10 brush on the market. Because it's crimped. But I think this brush has the most control out of all my brushes. Whenever I use this brush, I have the most control. I feel like it's just the right size when it comes to like medium, medium, long sets like this. You want something for your arm on? Anybody can guess how old this brush is? 10 years. No, not 10 years. Five? No, that's too long. One year. This is a year and a half. If a lot of you guys, I don't know who ever remembers when I used to use crimp brushes live, they'll remember this brush because I took this brush out on the side because this one has a green tint to it. I don't know if anybody was in that live a year or something ago. Whenever, because I crimp all my brushes by hand, so whenever I know it's a unique brush, I always keep it for myself. If you're an avid follower of mine, you'll remember this brush has a green tint to it in the wood that I found unique. So I kept it. You touch something? I think I did. And this one? This one is already dry. Okay. The one that I'm working on, if you didn't. The tips I'm using are my taper tips. Natural taper tips. They're the best to use when you're, you want a nice tapered shape, a natural curve to it. Where it's not too curvy, I'll show you guys. I know a lot of you guys have used natural tips before. You went to nail salons. These are not the same that you would, you would see. Um, they're, they're made a little bit differently so that it's not too curved. I do not like when it's too curved. I like the little tail lines, but it does have a natural, nice, nice curve to it. I'll show the tips right after I'm doing this application here. And and I'll tell you, and I'll show you why I had a tip made this way. Show you guys why too later when I'm shaping. It's one of my biggest pet peeves with tips that curve is when you're trying to shape under here, it curves too much so it leaves little notches and stuff like that. This one doesn't do that, but it also gives that nice natural curves that clients like. Some clients like a little natural curve when it comes to the tips. If you want to do a comparison, this is the, the tip that I have. You see how oh shit. Can you? And this company was taking forever to respond to me. I don't know why. Pretty easy, quick shaping right here. The shape should be already there from the tips. I didn't really do the nails thick, that thick. Waiting on the monomer? Yes, the monomer. I'm waiting on the damn monomer. You and me both, sis. And now I know how you guys paint. Before when I used to run on monomer, I always had some in stock in my studio for myself. This time the whole freaking I'm I'm out and I'm just like using like the local brands and it ain't working. Sorry about that. Quick shaping on the sides. Don't want it to go too much because I don't want to overfile. Hold on guys. 
guys. I'm gonna readjust my camera real quick. It's, it's getting droopy. My camera's getting droopy. Because it's not tight. Longer doesn't mean you like it to be longer, it just means that whoever's doing it didn't do it at the right time. No, but yeah, you're leaving that way perfect. I, I don't think I've ever got my nails done. It's a personal preference for me, too. <laughs> what do you think about Entity Monomer? I think it's a I've tried it before, it's very runny. It's almost like Mia yeah, here, uh, it's almost like I'm um, uh, Mia Secret to me. I don't know. I, that's why I like my monomer because it's, it's got medium. I mean, it's 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 an EMA, but you know, it doesn't set it doesn't set really slow. It sets at medium pace, so I'm able to like you know work a little bit quicker because I, I can't do really running monomer guys. Um, for me, it just takes me too long to hold the bead and wait for the timing. So yeah, I, I like a me more medium uh, medium setting monomer. So entity, I've tried it. It definitely runs a little bit runs a little bit more than uh, the other monomer. Almost comparable to me a secret. If, if, if you guys ever use me a secret for C and D comparable to C and D retention and me a secret. What's that? Winter Garden. I've heard the pinky needs to be slightly longer than nails. Um, the pinky does not. It, it's, it's it needs to be slightly longer because you gotta understand. Um. That's why you gotta measure cuticle to cuticle, and I always cut the pinky last because the pinky nail is out the middle base, so the pinky is always smaller. So a lot of times you look at the nail, and you're like, "Oh, this has the same length of nails on there," but technically it's actually shorter than most nails. So you have to actually do them. You have to cut it last, and you have to match it cuticle to cuticle with everything else. So yes, it does. It is slightly longer. You see, it looks like there's a lot more nail on there, right? But it's actually the same length as all the other nails because the base of the pinky is always smaller than all the other nails. And the base takes up some, makes up some of the length also. So there we are, guys. We are pretty much finished with that. And I'm gonna take out my drill. Use it out hand file, but for this, this is... what is going on? Who is calling me? The need. You can wait. So this is my five and one out of stock. The fine. I do have this in medium. This is a sharp bit. Not the safety, this is what we're doing the cuticle work. So, no moving, okay? And this tool will be able to, I'll be able to use it for everything. Since the nail is pretty much not that long, medium long, I can use the whole base of this bit to be able to go through the whole nail. I generally probably don't have to do a lot because it's already smooth to my application. The better your application, the less drilling you have to do. Believe it or not. And this is a custom bit. The way it's cut, the way it's made is completely different. Like I told you, everybody sells drill bits. You can get them on Amazon, you can get them anywhere, but if you get from mine, it's definitely unique in its own way. And a lot of my students that use it will tell you why. And you just gotta try it, you know? Don't take my word for it. Well, take my word for it first and try it. But once it comes back in stock, you guys will see. Um, I actually brought the extra fine, because a lot of people were asking for extra fine. Find extra fine sharp be back in stock. I do have safety version of these two for a lot of beginners, but I love using a sharp bit because you actually can get right into the cuticle, get nice and clean, and crisp. Yes, it is a dangerous, yes, you may cut your client, but once you tell them this is a sharp bit, hold still. You gotta have a lot of control over your Are you gonna practice Russian manicures now? Hell no. I might. I might. I want to take a class in Russian manicures. I've been so addicted to those videos, y'all. 
I'm telling you, react. I love watching you reaction, doing reaction videos now. It's so fun. There's some nail stuff out there that I'm, I'm seeing on TikTok. I'm like, what the heck? I feel old. There's like so many trends out there. Like, I'm like, wow. I'm so old school. Even the stuff I teach is just very. <sighs> This is this a trend. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It comes off. Yeah. You can take them off, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's such an inconvenience. So I'm gonna smooth up the top. I'm not gonna put too much pressure because it's already my case is already smooth. And this is a metal drill bit, so if I put pressure on it, it's actually gonna drill into it, it's gonna make it worse. So I'm just gonna slightly just hover over it. Um, if your application is not as smooth, you'll feel it right away and you'll know. Um, it'll make sounds and you'll feel the resistance of the product being taken off. Um, don't want that. So the better application, the better, easier just for you to do the drilling process here. Definitely getting some of your monomer when it comes back. Then the square tips. I use here just kind of felt like it kept the acrylic running, yep, and drain most of the liquid out of my brush. It's, yeah, um, KA Sky is definitely a runny, really runny powder. Uh, very runny and monomer because a lot of their powders are uh, pigment based. So, definitely, anybody that's used my monomer definitely never goes back to anything else, to be honest with you. <laughs> Even me, I can't even use any other people's monomer. I'm so used to using it. <laughs> How would you draw on long nail? Normally, you can use a full base. Um, for long nail of uh, Jasmine Freeman, I would definitely hand file. Then I'll only focus on drilling part on the cuticle area. Um, I use my hand filing for the, the base of the nail, and, and the cuticle area I would use to drill. Like here, this area I'll use to drill. Um, but since this nail is like a medium long, I don't have to do that. That's why hand filing is unique too. You can also drill with a hand filer too, but you gotta be careful not to go too crazy. Should be finishing up here soon on this hand. Remember this curvature here that I don't want to over drill. Take away the uh, apex. So I gotta be careful. I light my grip like, when I go get near the apex area when I drill. I'm trying to do more content on YouTube for you guys because sometimes certain content requires longer videos. I can't do it on TikTok and Reels and stuff like that. So if you guys have you guys haven't subscribed to my YouTube, you can check out my YouTube at Now That Studio YouTube. I was going circular motion from side to side. simple just if your application was smooth like you just really not a lot of work you have to do a lot of times you guys are just over overdoing it um application is key okay for what's your application you drill less shape less do everything less and also cut down your timing for those guys are doing two and a half hour three hour sets you know it's a lot of it's in your application it really eliminates a lot of work for you um and you'll you'll be able to get your sets out quicker and make more money by the hour
I should be getting around 30 minutes right now. I y'all just hold my hold your breath and watch me drill. Yeah, it's it's you know I still cut clients. I admit it, but it's actually once you get control of it, it's actually you know it's not too bad. Nobody has never ever cut a client with a drill, okay? Sharp drill, I like to go on a fast speed, in and out. <laughs> go in, go out. A lot of times you guys are running slow, and you guys think that running slow is actually better. Uh, running slow means you have to stay there longer, and that actually gives you more chances to cut the client. I just like to go in, relax. Don't get distracted by the door. Ain't nobody for you. The moment you turn your head, guess what? Your fingers stiffen up, you move your body. Before you know it, I'll be doing a Russian manicure on you. And I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> you that scared? I think you were saying how you cut your client. I said I still cut them. I don't. I don't be out there like, oh, I gotta cut this client. Mm -hmm. It ain't a promise. I said I. I you, it's an accident. Most of the time, it's the client's fault. Like how you trying to look at your finger right now? You got three fingers left, girl. Just relax, okay? We seven out of ten, okay? We want to be ten out of ten with non-cut fingers. Ten. Don't make me do a, a hand filer slap on your finger. Are you sealing the cuticle with this bit? Yep, this bit is my five and one. It seals the cuticles. It works and does everything right now. See what I'm doing? I'm sealing the cuticles right now. I'm five and ones and usually this the. the all the way up in the cuticle area. Literally, I only use this bit majority of the time. There's a variety of ways to seal the cuticles. Um, this is how I'm doing it, how I'm used to doing it. I think how most of the nail industry does it. This bit is actually one of my favorite. I think one of my most proudest achievements creating this bit right here. Cross diamond cut. Five and one sharp, the fine fan favorite, extra fine coming soon for a lot of you guys that like the sharpness of extra fine. Surprisingly, I wanted to do extra fine too back in the day, but I thought it was too sharp for some people. But some people are like, no, I love extra fine. Little extra fine, what it is. You don't feel it, do you? Mm -hmm. No, see, this bit clients really don't feel it because it smooths and removes. It's not as gritty. 
as most bits you see on the market or on Amazon. So you don't feel a lot of resistance as long as you do a good application. Nice smooth circular motion. Smooth and remove. All right, y'all, we are done. 10 for 10, no cut nails. Huh? 10 out of 10 definitely recommend. 10 out of 10 recommend? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so we're finished and we're just gonna go ahead and wash our hands. Right? No, I'm pretty soon I'll have this bit come in for you guys. It's like almost like a sanding band bit. It's gonna be really nice. I'll show you guys once it comes in. It comes with a bit kit. It's like a 100 by 180 metal sanding band bit. And instead of buffing like this, you can use it and just run it through your nail. You know, as smooth and it'll, it'll create like a texture too for gel polish to bond better. I would like it. Positive, you guys would like it. Um, let's mark the middle, the sides. Boom. So we did that. A lot of times you guys are doing it, yes, or actually not. Doing it precise, so one size is larger than the other. Doesn't look good. Let's take some time. Yeah, I'll show you guys. I'll do that again. Watch. Middle, sides, two dots. That's symmetry. This ensures, as long as you mark the same length going up on the nail, that, that would ensure that every nail will have the same kind of V French. Okay. This will take about maybe 10 minutes, maybe five minutes to do. Technically, fairly easy. So once you get more mastery of it, you don't have to even mark it. You just eyeball it. But for those of you guys that are still practicing and you know, you can just mark it so it'll be easy for you to see. You, you'd be surprised. This is a simple design, but a lot of people can't do it because one side will be thicker than the other. It's really weird. Because you guys, look, I got this one dot here, and right before the free edge, however high you want to go. If you're doing it this high, guess what? Every nail, if every nail is the same length, and you go up that high in every nail, guess what? The V front should be the same spot. Every nail, right? Right. So a lot of you guys are just not, you know, kind of pre-marking it so you don't see, so you, you're probably just going to go right down, 
then this side's gonna be thicker, this side's gonna be thinner, then you're gonna keep going, and before you know, you lose the V French and it starts going up, 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 up. See, the middle point, same spot, for, for free edge, that's how I did it, the other ones. Zip. Minimal, you don't use too much. You want a thin coat, you don't want to lose your shape, okay? It's a glitter gel, so you can just constantly just keep stroking it and it'll cover, give you the coverage that you need. You don't have to add more, add more. Because that's what it's gonna do, it's gonna go over the side of the walls. It's gonna make it all thick. And then you can lose that crisp shape that you worked so damn hard to do. You touched it? Right. Don't worry, it'll just be another five dollars later. I'll add onto your tab. Thank you. That's cute. Yeah. Oof, change. It's hard to see. There you go. Ooh. Oh, like, I'm like, zoom in. I gotta go higher and zoom in. No, he has already zoomed in. It's because the camera's too low. There you go. See, there you go, guys. And zoom in. Ah. Okay, so we use my top coat. You messed up. Your thumb. Not here because you're leaning it. Yikes. So I'm your thumb come in. <laughs> Just kidding. You're fine. Okay, put your thumb back in, but don't lean it, okay? Lift the thumb up. When you're in there, lift it up, yes. Yep, this is my rose gold. Thank you, Sally. Hey, Edgar, how are you? It's nice to see all my students in here. That's pink smeared. Look, even they, they notice it. This bitch keeps wanna she keeps wanting to add that five dollars onto that tab, I guess. It was definitely my fault, guys. I'm sorry. He's a really good no Usually um it's the um when the thumbs you don't lean it when you go into the machine, it doesn't get here in the corners and that's how it's mm -hmm. This top coat is the truth, y'all. My top coat is a medium consistent top coat. One thin coat is all you need. Keeps your shape nice and shine. 60 seconds, UV LED, gel lamps. See that? It doesn't congregate. That's how I've done a set the simple. <laughs> what brand was it? <laughs> they said that's ten dollars. <laughs> yeah, funny. The gel, this glitter is my rose gold. Over here, 
Give me a gift from my wrinkle me to my nose. Wow. I'm obsessed. Can we get to the good part? Uh, you guys ever seen a live TikTok? That was it. <laughs> That was a live TikTok, y'all. Can we get to the cat? I even did all the sound effects myself. No bling? No. This set doesn't need bling. This set is clean the way it is. Here, guys, wanna see something cool? Look at those cuticles. <laughs> I pride myself in cuticle work, guys. Look at those cuticles. Look how perfect it is. Alright guys, thanks for joining me in this impromptu set. Pretty fun set. Cutesy. <laughs>